Yeah, that's a home, kids. And this river is chock full of these. This is fun. We got a marauding bear on our hands. Imagine having this in your backyard. Oh my God. Unbelievable. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Welcome to beautiful Campbell River, British Columbia. This week on Fish in Canada, we're truly in God's country, an outdoor adventure and ecotourism hub. And most importantly for us, the salmon capital of the world. With a backdrop of rugged mountains, wild animals and surging waters, I can't think of a more perfect place to get up close and personal with some of Canada's most iconic and unique fish species. And when I say up close and personal, well, you'll see. How are you, mate? Good, how are you? Good, we're looking for Jamie the Fish Whisperer. Uh, it's Jamie here. <laughs> how are you doing, man? Dan, how are you doing? Good. 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 It's a neat place, man. Yeah, yeah. It's very unique here. Love this. Right. Right. You know your fish? Oh, love fishing. Excellent. Born and raised here. Excellent. What are we going to be doing? We're going to snorkel with salmon. We have thousands of pink salmon in the system right now. We have a good couple hundred chinook that are in the system. Fish galore. Oh, that's awesome. How that's cold good. is this water? The river temperature is 12 Celsius. That's, that's 75, 80 Fahrenheit, buddy. Don't worry. Yeah, you said it was going to be warm. Uh, <laughs> well, the fish need this temperature to survive. Yeah, if it was exactly. any warmer, it would be the dead salmon tour. Now, what kind of salmon are we going to see in there? We're going to see pink salmon. We're going to see Chinook salmon. And we also have some big steelhead that are coming back oh, to the system. Nice. Yeah. Now, will our fishing actually take place in that same run? Or? Yes, it will. It will. Yeah. So we'll Excellent. be able to spot the fish, see where they're hanging out, kind of pick out the best areas, and then come back and fish them. You're going to be amazed. You're going to see a wall of fish that you've never seen before. That's going to be so cool. Yeah. There's going to be times where you won't even be able to see the river bottom. I'm uh, excited. Don't know whether I'm going to sleep tonight, but uh, we'll definitely be here first thing in the morning. Yes. Perfect. Yep. Thank you, my friend. I look forward to it. Okay. You're welcome. Good We're going to rock it, buddy. Awesome. That's good. Don't try this at home, kids. Stuck in the room, much, right? Pacific salmon spend the first few months of their lives in the streams and rivers where they were hatched. They then make their way to the salt water of the ocean. They spend the next two to several years, depending on the species, growing to adulthood in the food-rich waters of the Pacific. When their time comes, they swim back upstream to the place where they were born, ready to create future generations of fish. And it's these mature salmon that we're going to swim with today. We've been told that there are over a million pink salmon currently in this system, all fighting their way upstream. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a record-setting number for fish in this area. Anglers, prepare to have your minds blown. Five species of Pacific salmon return to the Campbell River each year. Pinks, Chinook, Coho, Sockeye, and Chum. And then, as we surfaced, we found out we weren't the only ones admiring this Campbell River smorgasbord. Black bears use these spawning grounds as a major source of food. Hopefully we're not on the menu. makes it look so easy. As an angler, this is an experience unlike anything else. Floating on top of the river with an absolute wall of fish below you. It's peaceful and serene. It's nature at its finest. So now, after getting into the water and actually seeing not just where the fish are, but the contours of the riverbed, the current breaks, the rubble, the boulders, we're ready to try our hands at some fly fishing. 
man, this should be like taking candy from a baby. Right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> you don't like us, do you? Hey, Angelo, I got one, buddy. Coming. I had one. Time to come up river. Oh, you son of a gun. You off? He's gone. <laughs> I came all the way down. Fish, boys. You're gonna get buried this time. <laughs> Swing, Mama! Do you right? Hey, nice. Woo. Man, they jump, don't they? These things are rippers. Up, drop. Yeah. Broke her off, kid. Get him, buddy! Oh, and goodbye. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unreal. What do you gotta do to land these things? Buddy, I have no idea. Oh. <whistles> Missed it by that much. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, bingo! Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't like us, do you? That's it, you don't like us! Stay with the program, buddy, come on. Come on, I wanna land one of these things. Yeah. <laughs> Jump on! <laughs> Woo! Where are you, little devil? Grab by the tail if I can. <laughs> he beat you up good. Come on down. That is a neat looking nice fish. Look fresh. at this the green going down the side. Yeah. I'll put it back in the water here and hold him down here like this. That Beautiful. is such an he's, awesome he's looking thick, fish. Though, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And That's this some nice colors, eh? river is chalk full of these. When I tell you <laughs> that there are thousands upon thousands of these. You see them. <laughs> you see Jamie them. Jamie showed us where they were. <laughs> cool. There you go. See ya. Another one, kid. I'm coming. We need to net them faster than fast. I gotta beat him if I can. Oh, now he knows he's hooked. You are a beast. Man, they're crazy lunatic fish. Oh, you got him. He's done. Come on, little fella. There he is. <laughs> yes, guy. That's him. Look at the big hump on him, huh? That's nice. Got it. There we go. There he is, buddy. A little humpback. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I think that's my first pink salmon ever. Is that? I think so. I don't think I ever caught one. cool? Look at that. That's my first ever fish on a fly. Is it? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Hey, maybe you just gotta give him a little booster. Yeah. Your first and your first, man. Good stuff. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the help. Good stuff. But you know, something that, uh, that I gotta tell you, there is a totally different feeling catching and releasing these fish after you spent some time underwater yeah. watching them. Yeah. Like, it's 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 kind of surreal. It's, it's very it, cool. I mean, it, add the element of diving in the water yeah. with the snorkel gear and your yeah. mask, yeah. swimming through these massive schools of fish, and then coming back and trying to catch a few of them. It's, it's mind-boggling. We thought we were going to come out here and just slam this. That alone is a lesson we should we learn. Didn't do, we didn't do it. There's <laughs> millions, or hundreds of thousands of fish in here, but you still got to work to hook them. But when you do, it's fun. That's it's for sure. It's a blast. We got a live one, buddy. I'm coming down, kid. They're so strong in this one. Oh, they know how to fight, don't they? <laughs> they know how to fight. <laughs> you that or I'm a wimp, one of the two. No, no, these things are ridiculous. I, I can't believe for the size of the fish we're catching how powerful they are. 
where did they get the strength? And he's fighting the current, too. Yep. That's the part that blows my mind. Yeah, current Not only is he fighting me, he's fighting the current. I'm going to try and walk him into that shallow little indent. Sure. Right up by this the camera. Is a lot better than all those rocks we were climbing this morning. Well, this is so much nicer to... You got him. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh, watch my stick. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. There, stop. I got, got him. Oh. You got him. That's a hump. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's a weird looking fish. Look at Look that. Look at the hump on that. Look at that. How He's gorgeous ready to is do that? His thing, man. That is gorgeous. Let's get him back to do his thing. There he is. There he goes. There he is. Nicely done. That was a cool fish. That was a cool That fish. was a neat looking dude. Nature freaks me out, you know? Like that fish is back. And, yeah. the, and the face. And the, yeah. it, a month ago, the thing was yeah. just tor torpedo. Bizarre. Bizarre. Hey, bear. Bear's a lot of us here. No. <laughs> These things are crazy. Whoa! Look, Look at, at the kite on him, huh? Wow! That is beautiful. It's a gorgeous fish. There's a pink Ooh. salmon for you folks right there. Woo! Good job, yeah, my friend. Yeah, man, little fella. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Spun around. Whoa! Look, he's gonna go up on, on the rock. Nice. Way to go, buddy. Look at that. Boy, they're that great looking neat fish, though. Right? Looking look at that fish. Big hump. There. Right to my foot. Right to my feet. <laughs> this place is so stoked full of fish. It's ridiculous. See you, Mom. This is fun. This is fun. Let's see if I can bring him in this shallow water here. <sighs> Wow, what a beautiful fish that is. Holy smokes. That is gorgeous. <laughs> going up on shore. He's going up on shore. That is a beautiful big, big male. When you can get fish like that on a fly, real light gear, it is an absolute blast. Absolute blast. Wow, off he goes. See ya, buddy. <laughs> How sweet is that? Rain and all. <laughs> I want to see that bear. He could be cruising by anytime. He knows we're here. That is a bear. <laughs> yeah. That's great, eh? It's a beauty. Propped up on the rock looking for a salmon. <laughs> Nah, he's not stopping. Nope. Hey, Bear. Bear's a lot of us here. Atta boy. That's the way. And just like that, our new friend was off. But not before grabbing a quick snack. It's amazing how little fear these animals actually have at this time of year. Today's hotspot is along the picturesque Campbell River in British Columbia. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. We easily access this hotspot via a whitewater raft with Destiny River Adventures. This is a fly fishing only area of the Campbell. We use small bright colored sinking flies with weighted lines and tippets to get our presentation close to the bottom, a key in this area. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com.
With the wilderness adventure behind us, we now focus on the Campbell River's greatest fishing tradition, the historical Taiyi Club. We've heard joining this exclusive fraternity is no easy task. All right, so what do we Hey, doing? look at this, I got a baby chair Oh, coming. that's perfect for you, you knew look you were coming. Daddy! <laughs> the history of the Taiyi Club uh, goes back to 1924. Uh, it was founded by six gentlemen, and they come up with a 30-pound Chinook, or larger, to be a registered fish at the Taiyi Club. And, and it's not just a 30-pound plus salmon. There's very specific ways of catching, catching these fish, right? Catching. Maybe you can explain that to us. You, number one, you have to register what you've done. Right, so we're good. You can only use 20-pound test line. You uh, have to have a six to nine foot rod. Right. And you have to be rowed right. in, a, in a, any, any type of boat as long as it's rowed and the motor has to be lifted out of the water. Okay, now I understand we've got a bit of a ringer. The guy who's going to be rowing us tonight, apparently he's a member of this club uh, a few times now. They've been very fortunate uh, for rowing new members. So Perfect. So you're with a good guide tonight. As good as it gets right there. That's right. Good. All right, so can we do this ceremonial sure, Fishing Canada sure. hat thing? And it even matches your coat, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry, old pal. Oh, I, oh, good, I, feel, I feel good about this. There we go. Well, if they land a fish, they have to bring it to myself, where I'm the only one that can put it on the scales and weigh it. We put the numbers up on the board. Uh, the high numbers on the board is the highest fish of the year. The lower numbers on the board indicate the last fish caught. We will take the angler's picture. The angler gets to ring the bell that's alongside of me here, uh, three times for a 30, four times for a 40 pound fish, and so on all the way up. The, the largest uh, fish on record here at the club is uh, 71 and a half, uh, which was, I believe, caught in 1947. With an incredible tradition of fishing here, we've got just one thing in our minds, and that's to have the Fishing Canada Show be a part of Campbell River history. In the 50s and 60s, people like John Wayne and Glenn Ford and Bob Hope, uh, who, to the best of my knowledge, they, none of them have made it into the club, but they certainly tried. Man, not much daylight left. Come on, fish, take that bait. I want to ring that bell so bad. Speak for yourself, brother. I need to ring that bell. It's just one fish. Just one fish. To get to today's amazing salmon adventure, we first flew from Toronto to the Comox Valley Airport in the province of British Columbia. From there, we drove west on Ryan Road and then north on South Island Highway to Campbell River, aptly named the salmon capital of the world. Then we drove on Island Highway to Destiny River Adventures. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sail, the Outdoors Superstore. Coleman, the Outdoor Company. Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Don't, 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 don't,